growing very frustrated, total lack of transparency. I just spoke to, well, I didn't speak to her, I just texted, I guess, Sarah Adams. She says the Star Wars thing is just a game. However, Lorian, aka Reptoid Wizard, aka Astral Projection, is saying that it's not a game and that they're really making clones of me. Here's what I do know. I do know that the Grey Aliens have put chips into my left eye. They've done it twice. It hurts for like 40 minutes. They did it to me while I was driving, and then they did it to me while I was in meditation. And, um... It sucks. I've been having dreams that suggest that I... get money off of money that's usually reserved for black people. For the longest time I thought I was going to get um, disability or welfare or something, but it turns out that it's actually a check from the Department of Treasury for six figures at least. Because what happened was I was sleeping and the energy protector on my door showed me the picture of the check and you know it was one of those uh, Department of Treasury checks and it was brown like a Department of Treasury check and I kept telling the energy protector or preventer to zoom in on the check by the way I just got out of the shower the hair's not greasy it's wet some people have a problem with that I'm losing my articulation ability is just like JSX so I kept telling the preventer to zoom in on the, um, by the way, my eyes are green, not blue. I kept telling the energy preventer to zoom in on the check. And the more they zoomed in, the more it was um, blurry. But I did see the numbers 104 and six figures. So I think that the reason why RV Bay Publications Dot com is taking forever to respond to me is because I think they're doing all the work regarding petitioning the IRS for all the money they made off my straw man for me. I think they're doing it all for me. So back to the Star Wars thing. By the way, I just look like Anakin, don't I? So, um, Lorian, the Reptoid Wizard, says that it's real, and I'm fighting the worm people. I can't even pronounce that goo a eld word. goo a eld goo go a eld I'll just call them the worm people for clarity's sake. He says it's real, and he says, however, Sarah Adams says it's fake. And then I keep asking everyone, like, who is this woman at the gym? I've been saying this for a long time. I've been wondering this for a long time, who this woman at the gym is. I think she's my fifth dimensional mother because she is what I am. And she has, like, the only one in this town with the same physicality that I do. So I think she's what I am, like a the Alliance warrior type. So, so I think Reptoid Wizard is trolling me because he says that there's a prophecy that says that if the one gains carnal knowledge of his fifth dimensional mother, then I'll lose my ability to travel the intergalactic internet and I'll, I'll lose my abilities in general. So I think this Lorian person is trolling the shit out of me. And basically I'm at the point where I'm super frustrated because I can't get a clear answer out of anyone. Every time I talk to a, anyone, whether it's a Pendragon or a Sarah Adams or a, a Lorian or a Tribune Riddlemeyer, they always give me like shitty answers and 
basically I just keep noticing that I keep getting shitty answers, no money, no nourishment from a female. I'm suffering from too much nothing, too many unanswered questions. And I notice that every time I say something good about the demons, for example, the, la the, the last video I made where I said um, Obama is the godfather of all trolls and I said something good about 13 sign astrology, every time I say something good about a demon, I'll have a good day the next day. I notice that. Every time, literally every time I say something good about the demons, I have a good day the next day. So you know what? I'm going to give a little... Because I have, I'm doing this because I have a very shitty life. I'm not doing this because I like them. But I'm going to give some energy to the Vatican. This is full of water. Some energy going out to the Vatican. Because my life sucks, so I might as well give tidings and offerings to people like the Vatican because no one cares anyway. So, um, there's this moor from Canaland Moors, that's his YouTube name, the Canaland Moors, and I asked him how to petition the IRS for the money they made off my straw man, and he won't tell me because he thinks I'm going to fuck it up and then blame him, and I'm like, you should tell me because just for the sake of preserving the knowledge. And he keeps telling me to go buy the tax book from RB Bay Publications, but they're really bad business people because I've already paid them $75 and they still haven't given me my shit. It's been, I sent that package July 23rd, so why haven't they sent me the shit back? Because all they were supposed to do is put their sticker on it, their seal on it. That's all they were supposed to do. Is just put the sticker on it. So... Uh, they're pretty much, you know, with, with the melanated people, it seems like they're proving themselves to be useless. And speaking of that, the movie Lucy... I finally figured out what that movie was really saying. What it's really saying is that, well, first of all, let's get some background here. Lucy is the name of the first black woman, the Moabite woman, right? So by calling a white woman Lucy, what they're saying is that they're converting the universe from a, a dead matter melanin state to a living matter state. So Lucy, the white woman, goes back in time and touches the monkey and gives the monkey God consciousness. So basically it's what they're saying is they're going to hit the reset button, convert the universe from a dead matter state to a living matter state, and then make it so that the universe functions a lot easier for white people than it does for black people. Because right now, the way things are is that it's a lot more consp um, it's a lot more ad advantageous to be black spiritually, not mentally. But now, when they change things with the new man, it's going to be better to be a Caucasoid. If you ask me, it's always been better to be a Caucasoid because the black people have the recessive skin, excuse me, the lack people have the recessive brain, but we have the recessive skin. I'd rather have the superior brain than the inferior skin. I had to go there because I'm just not seeing what the point of their existence is anymore, especially when I have subscribers who are Naga serpents who do say that they would discard them if it was up to them. So it is up. To, so basically, it's. 
um, justify throwing the baby out with the bathwater when it comes to the mentally challenged. And I learned that 90% uh, of black people are born borderline retarded. So, yeah, it's going to be very easy to say goodbye to them because if I go to all these moors and all I hear out of their mouths is the typical I'm not black shit, then when you actually ask them for substance, like how to petition the IRS, how to claim Moorish nationality, and none of them can actually tell you, it's time for black people to go. Now look at my abs. Look at my abs. One second. Black people, you have to go. Because you're stupid. Because you're lame. Because you're no Gropeans. Do we really need you? You get the you get the opportunity to carry the ball and run with it. And what did you do? You dropped it. I'm a Neanderthal, which means that the Moors are my father. So where is my father's teaching me? Why aren't my father's giving me an education? I should sue them for not paying child support because they have done nothing but act like, you know what? I gotta start tanning again. My face is like, yeah, I need to start tanning. I'm sick of people giving me vague answers. I'm sick of draconians, even the ones like Tribune Riddlemeyer who claims he's ascending, but there's no such thing. He's, he's a liar too, because he said he was a Draco Prime but the Draco Prime are white, and he's not white. See, these people lie every chance they get. And I don't like the Lorian guy either, because I can tell he's a troll, because if Sarah Adams says it's a game, the Star Wars thing is just a game, then it is just a game. I gotta do a dedication. Just in case uh, Lorian is telling the truth, this message is for Thor, Commander Thor. Commander Thor, Gutu wants out of his Star Wars thing. I don't want to be astrally abducted. I don't want to wake up in pain anymore. The reason why I'm wearing sunglasses is because Great aliens don't like it when you make direct contact with them. They don't like it when you make eye contact with them. So I'm not trying to incite the great aliens. I'm just trying to say that I am the ascending type of reptilian and I do not want to be a part of war or any combat. I love Hotep. Give me Hotep or give me more Hotep. So, no more Star Wars, no more Sarah Adams, no more Draconians. You give me magic lessons, then I go to the seventh dimension because I have broken Moloch.